It's time for another Mercs Rising War recap, and we got a good one here. We got our Mercs Rising Second Perfect War. So congratulations to Mercs Rising and all those that were involved in this war. So we got some really awesome attacks that we're going to show you from uh, our number 10 that you can see right here all the way up through our number 1, pulling out all sorts of different styles of attack on this one. It wasn't just everybody used dragons or everybody used gybards or whatever. It was a very nice diverse war. There was a lot of communication going on and lots of talk on how to three-star these bases some really good communication we actually had more than just 10 three-star attacks on this one too but we're going to show you uh, our top three that I'd like to bring light to you today so let's go ahead and get into the first attack that we're going to show you today this first one is going to be eye blonde doing a really nice dragon attack first thing she does is bolt the backside air defense and this is one thing I really liked about this attack is look how wide she started that funnel notice the four builder huts that were in the corners we'll start by dropping two dragons on those builder huts and you're guaranteeing yourself that your dragons don't have to path all the way back to the starting part of your map just to take out two piddly little buildings at the end sometimes that can make or break an attack so excellent job catching your corners doing a really good job on patience of deploying the balloons if you drop your uh, clan castle troops before the the enemy clan castle are triggered that means your clan castle troops have a chance of getting targeted by the enemy clan castle troops and therefore destroyed great pathing those balloons were sent straight in towards the one remaining air defense but the dragons took it down before the slow moving balloons could get there also something else I really like about this attack is she hasn't dropped her barbarian king yet there it goes up on the top right side she's using it as a bit of a herder think about your dragons as sheep and the barb king as a fox or as a dog the dog's job is to guide the sheep to where it needs them to go well if the barb king wasn't there there's a chance those dragons could have strayed out to the side and then been pulled away from the core of the base so using the barb king as a bit of a sheep herding dog is an excellent technique especially in these low level town hall 7 um, wars that she's doing so, really great job, Iblond, on using all your troops effectively. We're going to go fast forward and finish up this amazing attack. So let's go ahead and look at this second attack by Storm Spirit doing a really cool hog attack. What I like about this one is the angle he chooses to deploy his hogs from and the use of his king. So we'll get to that in just a second. He's, he is going to get a really easy clan castle alert. It's a base design flaw with this one. And he's going to drag him over to the side and do a standard CC kill. Uh, it does have the double poison to help weaken and slow the dragon down quite a bit. We'll surround it with archers, a couple wizards, and the barbarians as distraction. Just your standard kill look enemy clan castle troops. So let me get a drink of my beer while that happens. Doing a really good job of surrounding the dragon in a nice semicircle. And here come the hogs, standard two finger drop. Uh, what I think I like about this attack so much is that he's coming in from the side of the base that's opposite of the enemy king. Why is this so important? Well, if your king is beating on a couple of hogs as the attack commences, that's that much less cumulative damage per second that your hogs will be dishing out to all the defenses. So coming in on this side of the base and ending at the side of the base where the barb king is, is really smart because your barb king is going to hit fewer hogs at the end of the attack your hogs will also be there to take out the enemy king once all the defenses go down so that part was really really smart and I really like that about this attack clan castle hogs come in just to add a little extra firepower to this and here's what's really awesome see how the king is walking away because the hogs are in the middle of the base that's actually really cool because look at this that king almost locks back onto those hogs but he drops his barbarian king to distract and redirect the enemy king back away from the hogs. The hogs are going to deal the most damage and dropping your barb king like this for a king swap was absolutely beautiful. Storm Spirit, this was an amazing attack. Well planned out, well thought out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and speed through to the end of this attack because we are on cleanup mode at this point. Lots of things that went really well in this attack. So good job Storm Spirit at getting three stars for the Mercs Rising and showing us the right way to do a hog attack. So this last attack we're going to show you is by King Constantine doing a really good go wee wipe attack against his base. I uh, also want to give a shout out to King Constantine. He is one of our first members from Mercs Rising to be promoted up to Mercs Legion. So congratulations to King Constantine. We'll look forward to seeing you in the Legion. 
All right, brought two hogs in this one, and it was really smart because the first one didn't quite get the enemy clan castler. The second one absolutely did, was able to drag them over to the far left side of the base. He's going to drop the double poison uh, just to take out the enemy clan castle troops without much of a problem. Let the poison sink in a little bit, do some damage. And I really like that this uh, poison spell effect is cumulative, so the more you drop, the faster it takes effect. It's also kind of good to see it work on some heroes too if for some way that you can drop your uh, poison spells on the enemy clan castle troops as well as a hero. That's just that much less of an, uh, damage that you have to do to the enemy heroes. Alright, just mass witches come down. He's going to drop his golems also. Uh, King comes in. Uh, Pekka from the clan castle is going to come in. And all that's just going to funnel, well not all of it, but most of it's going to funnel right into this uh, part of the base. Uh, excellent base to choose this from. The uh, large open center ring of this base is ideal for using wizards and witches. The witches are going to be able to spawn the larries that run out and uh, spring all the traps, to, uh, trip all the bombs, and then the wizards are really strong enough to shoot over the walls. It's also really great too because then your golems and pekkas don't have to sit there beating on a wall for too long. They can just march around the base willy-nilly and get uh, take all the damage that your wizards and witches don't need to be taking so really good attack uh, the, the troops were able to make their way even into that center ring compartment right around the town hall which wasn't bad it does trap the golems here a little bit at the end but overall this turned out to be a really successful go we wipe attack so again congratulations to King Constantine for moving up to Merck's Legion hope you viewers out there really enjoyed this attack series um, Several different attacks at various different Town Hall levels. That's what I really like about doing this series in Mercs Rising. You're getting attacks all the way from Town Hall 5 all the way up through Town Hall 9. Wide variety of strategies. Lots of experience in this clan, even though we're recruiting some new members. So, hopefully you are interested in joining our clan. We'd love to have new members join. Uh, check out the clan tag in our description, and hopefully we'll see you join Mercs Rising here soon. This is Eureka Havoc from Mercs Legion, helping you to clash without fear. Mm -hmm.